Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now February 3rd of 2020 and ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans around the world have been very intrigued about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Star Wars is that we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm currently are going under a big change, a massive shift, if you will, with the Star Wars canon material and everything due to Star Wars Legends coming back and being reused in various ways. Now, I don't know if you guys knew, but obviously The Rise of Skywalker was considered by far the toughest production for, you know, the Star Wars franchise, of course, everybody that worked on the sequel trilogy and so on and so forth, because of how less time they had in comparison to The Force Awakens. So, it's one of the main reasons as to why that when you examine Episode 9, it feels very convoluted or rushed, especially in the first act and even partially in the second act as well. Now, beyond everything related to Episode 9, we do know that the future of this franchise is very important to them. They're trying their very best, their absolute best, in order to ensure that the future of this franchise stays very healthy. Even though at this point in time, the fan base still seems to be divided, The Mandalorian on Disney Plus seems like it divided, you know, it seems like it did not divide, I must add, Star Wars fans. And it just shows us proof that they have the opportunity to create proper material and proper TV shows or whatever have you movies that won't create a divide like The Last Jedi did. Now, on top of all of this, what's rather intriguing is that now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with the sequel trilogy and are moving on to the future of the franchise, such as their new Star Wars universe, Lucasfilm and their Star Wars new trilogy, many fans have been very curious about exactly how Disney and Lucasfilm will reshape Star Wars as we know it. One of the big plans that Lucasfilm and Disney have is to reset or restart the Star Wars franchise in a significant way in different strategies with their new Star Wars universe, where the first phase of this that they have in order to restart the franchise has to do with the series of books, novels, comics that are going to retell the sequel trilogy films that will make watching the films feel far different in design for the Star Wars community. This is said to be Disney's plan to restart both The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker mainly. As for the prequels, they are looking to retcon the concept of Anakin's father or creator in the new Disney canon that is going to reshape the events that take place during Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, and everything that comes before and during The Phantom Menace. This is said to be done in the form of other untitled canon material that is due for release in 2021, and that next year will be the year of these massive shifts to the franchise. Not just that, but Disney and Lucasfilm will also be fixing the character of Luke Skywalker in various ways with the new untitled projects for their Star Wars Expanded Universe that will tell new tales of the iconic Jedi Master. This is said to be the plan to make the Star Wars fans satisfied for those that were upset with how Luke was treated where the reset of the franchise will also change the map of the galaxy by adding in a brand new region that has never been labeled before in the known galaxy of the Star Wars universe. So obviously this really is a big deal and I think that some of this is good and some of this is going to be very risky. Now the thing that's good to me is the fact that they are trying their best in order to really reshape the character of Luke, to fix the character of Skywalker and to really kind of give us a different version of The Last Jedi. I don't know if you guys knew this but they are going to be rewriting The Last Jedi in probably the worst way and this is going to be in the forms of books and novels and even comics. That's going to give us a different view of the movie, kind of like what they did with some of the other kind of material back in 2018 that gave us different scenes related to The Last Jedi. It was somewhat interesting, but it didn't really reset anything. So these new books and novels, it's essentially going to retell The Last Jedi, and it's going to make us view the movie in a different way. The only problem with that is that there's a lot of fans out there that don't really read the books and the novels and the comics, and it's one thing that I have to say right here is that Mainly the hardcore fans are the type of fans that read this material, such as myself and a lot of you guys out there. Mind you, there are casual fans that love the books and stuff like that, but not the majority of them. So that's going to be the one problem there. The other thing is the fact that they are going to retcon the entire concept of Anakin's father slash creator. So essentially what they are going to do, they are going to completely change how we view Revenge of the Sith and of course The Phantom Menace and that parts of that movie are going to be retold also in their new upcoming canon material. 
Also, by adding in our new region of the galaxy, I think that this could very well be somewhat of a risk as well, where they're trying to add in a new galaxy, or not a new, a new region of the galaxy. You know, we got the unknown regions, we got the mid-rim, the outer rim, which, by the way, are going to be a part of the new trilogy, but... This new region, we're not quite sure exactly what it's going to be called. Essentially, it's going to change the map of the galaxy. This is an, this is also another plan in order for them to reset or restart the Star Wars franchise and how it's really going to change history as we know it in the Star Wars canon lore. And that not just that, they're bringing back Star Wars Legends and telling it in a different way as well. So anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today... Do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.